Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is UCD Toy Reviews. How you guys doing? So right now we're taking a look at the Monsterverse Skullcrawler with Heave from Playmates. This is for the upcoming movie Godzilla vs. Kong, which was supposed to come out this year, but most likely won't because of, you know, the pandemic and all that stuff. And it is a movie that I have been waiting my entire life for. I cannot wait for this movie to finally come out. I've been sitting here waiting for the trailer for like the last year, and it keeps getting delayed, delayed, so... Anyway, but at least we're getting some toys out of it, so here we go. So this is the Skullcrawler, which if you guys remember in Kong Skull Island was the big bad guy monster. And they're sort of like these two-footed lizards, which is actually based on a, a monster from the original King Kong in 1933. It was like this weird little two-footed two lizard monster thing that was like crawling up the side of the mountain. They kind of based it on that, so that was kind of cool. So let's take a look at the box and packaging so you can kind of see nice renditions of Kong and, and Kong and Godzilla here and let's zoom in a little bit so you can get it take a look at that figure yeah pretty cool looks like it has this battle damage kind of thing going so a piece of its skin comes off or whatever that's pretty cool so battle damage reveal I like the monster verse sort of logo that's pretty cool and then let's take a look at the back of the packaging you got a nice photo of the monster and then some other ones in the line so we have Kong here with a jet and then Warbat I guess that's another new monster that's gonna be in this movie Godzilla with a heat ray yeah, looks pretty good and then Kong with a battle axe that's kinda cool so Kong's gonna use weapons and another Godzilla with a radio tower pretty cool pretty cool so I'm glad that they're making these toys i'm glad that they're making them in this nice six inch scale because it fits in with all of my other godzilla vinyls and stuff like that so let's go ahead and unbox this guy all right let's see what do we got here i gotta cut this thing off or something this one's kind of weird how do how do you even open this i don't know <laughs> uh let's see he's got like this big sort of thing here. Can I cut this off without scratching my toy? Yep. Alright. And then he's got a wire going right there. Okay. And okay, so that came out. And then let's see, there's a tail. Get this tail out of here. And he's got these other things that are sort of piece of skin hanging off. Here's like his back skin. And then I'm guessing this is some kind of vehicle. Okay, so let's get rid of that box there. Okay, here's the figure. Pretty cool, I guess uh, some assembly required. So let's put in the tail. All right, uh, let's see, is that gonna just snap in? Oh, okay, that just goes right in. Okay, that's cool, so. Was afraid that maybe, you know, I'd have to like run it under hot water or something to get that in there. That's kind of long. That might be kind of, uh... Wow, look how long it is. <laughs> it's very, very long here. Look how... Let me just move the camera down a, a little bit. So you can kind of see how long it is. That's at least 8 inches long. I'd have to see here. In fact, you know what? I have a ruler around here somewhere. So let's measure how long this is exactly. Holy crap, it's actually like... 12 inches from uh, mouth to uh, head to tail there. In fact, it's more than 12 inches long. It's maybe 12 and a half inches long. So that's pretty big figure. So that's really cool. So let's see. We've got uh, shoulder kind of pivots here like that, right? And then they go up and down. So that's cool. Then you have nice rounded articulation on his forelegs. So you can get some nice poses out of this thing. And then head, does it spin? Hmm. Looks like it should turn. It doesn't really turn. It does a little bit, you know. Mouth opens and closes, okay. And it's got these sort of like pits where it should have eyes, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I think that's the eye, but that's kind of cool. And then the tail moves around. And then let's see, what's this all about? So this is like 
This is like a battle damage thing, huh? Okay, so let's see. That kind of goes on like that. So, alright, so then you can tear this off when, like, they get in a fight and, ah, uh, well, there goes his ribs or whatnot. Alright, that's kind of cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, you know? That's not bad looking at all. Let's put them down like that. In fact, I gotta move the camera down a little bit more so you can get a look at them. Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. Came with this little sort of vehicle thing. It's called, called a Heave. So, it, this sort of looks like a flying sort of bus, maybe? Car? Kind of thing. Looks like it floats or whatever. This is just a piece of plastic. It's like hollow on the inside, so... Yeah, you know, kind of cool. I'm guessing that factors into the movie somehow, you know. So, not bad at all. Let's take a, let's have a little comparison here. So, this is the only other scroll, skull crawler figure that they ever came out with. Right, and this came out with um, Kong Skull Island back in the day. So this one's uh, this one is actually worth a little bit of cash because it, up until now it was the only skull crawler they ever made, and it's kind of crappy, <laughs> right? It's very it's unarticulated, you know. It doesn't move. It's just this sort of static thing, and just the the mouth opens and closes, right? So comparing, you know, that skull crawler to this one, new skull crawler is like way way better than old skull crawler <laughs> I would have to say for sure that you know I am very much more happy with how this current figure looks there we go I think that's how it's supposed to go all right much more happy with the size and scale and articulation and features with the new playmates skull crawler than the old school Kong Skull Island Skull Crawler. In fact, I think I'm gonna sell this because it's like kind of a kind of a very sub you know subpar figure. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one because I don't need it anymore. Because now I got a much better looking Skull Crawler, so that's cool. So let's do some more comparisons. I don't have any of the other toys from the Kong versus Godzilla line, but I do have some other figures for scale. So this is a Monster Arts, uh, Godzilla, in fact, I think this is actually a bootleg, to be honest, I don't think this is a real Monster Arts Godzilla, but roughly, you can kind of see it's about five and a half, six inches tall, right, and that scale fits really well with, uh, these figures, if you take a look at that, you know, these would fit really well in a diorama or on a shelf next to each other, they would look really cool, and then, my only Kong figure that I have, well actually I have a couple, but here's my best Kong figure. This is actually a Monster Arts Kong from 2005, so this is like Peter Jackson's King Kong right here. And you can see that the scale fits really well. <laughs> they look really good next to each other, you know, even though it's not as detailed or whatnot, it's like, see I, I like collecting monsters and stuff like this, especially Godzilla monsters, but I like them to be all within the same scale. So I'm very happy to see that these guys are, you know, because when they're the same scale, they look good next to each other on the shelf, you know, or if you make any kind of like, you know, battle scenes with them or whatever you do, you know. Some collectors like to take pictures and shit like that, and some people like to build backgrounds and, you know, and I think they look better when they actually fit together when they're the right sizes and that kind of thing so pretty pretty stoked very happy because you can kind of see how this one is like fits way better than the old one does <laughs> so yeah um here's the thing about these things right these types of toys these movie related ones tend to go up in value a lot so if that's the thing you're in for you know um if you're toy collecting and you like to keep stuff minty, this might be one that you might want to consider keeping in the box. Um, I can tell you, even even this old school toy is selling for 50 bucks loose. You know, $100 if it was like still in the package. 
who knows, you know, this stuff is like, it's, who knows about that. I mean, me, myself, I don't collect things to resell them later, you know. If something I buy tends to go up in value, that's just a little bonus for me. I don't really invest in toys, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna do that, you should be buying stocks. Don't, don't, don't buy toys as an investment, buy stocks, you know, buy, buy gold, buy some other actual real investment that will actually give you money you know toys are more of a passion but you know it's one of those things that's like okay well if it does happen to be worth all kinds of cash or whatnot it's not like i'm complaining so anyhow yeah you know these are in stores now they're kind of hard to find so go out there and get them folks adios